guys, welcome back to Let's Play Live Fallout New Vegas. Oh boy, we got more Vegasing to do. Yeah, we do. And we're gonna do it by working with Freeside first. We're gonna help the followers. Actually, you know what? Before we do that, we should go hit up the NCR safe house. Before, oh yeah, that place will be, that yeah, place will be meant to get to. Yeah, before they get too mad at us. Because we, uh... We kind of blew them up the last time we tried to help. Oh, yeah. That can't be taken away from you, can it? No. But, uh, I'm trying to remember the controls real quick. There we go. Let's just, uh, fast travel to there. As close as we can. Which would be... Yeah, that works. Uh, yeah, yeah. yeah, right now we're questionable for them. We're kind of like the trickster role. I would say we we'd be more like Loki, but uh, as we've seen from the from the from how how he is currently, he's definitely a good guy. <laughs> I actually finished all of that. Yeah, I don't know what to think about that. Who's over here? Spawn in, spawn in immediately get shot. Oh, fiends! I got him. I'll help. Let me just aim. Oh, he got him. Huh. Should have saved this for Caesar now that I stop and think about it. I don't know if, they, if you get it. Oh, you know what? I bet you can't. Link established! Yes. I'm probably making a lot of enemies by using that gun. I bet uh, I bet Caesar's camp, you can't use it because it, it's, it's always, uh, you know, it's always evening time over there. Oh, that's right. And it's considered an indoor area. Mm. And you can't use the Poseidon energy on the inside. Yeah. No fun allowed at Bethesda. No, no fun. fun. Oh, I remember this place. I also have the Mantis power fist, I forgot. Oh, yeah, we got that at the, uh... The gun, gun runners. runners. Yeah, when we actually got all that money. I was about to say the run gunners. <laughs> you know what? There's an anthill here, so why don't we just explore it? I can't believe they let us go inside an anthill. I remember they only did this once in three, if I remember. Yeah, it was something like that. When you could choose to help the professor. Oh my. Oh boy. Oh, thanks, Holy oh, Holy cow, Boone. Yeah, like, holy shit. That bullet just traveled straight through that, uh, ant's... I don't know. Brain. You'd think it'd be harder to kill, considering that since they're this size, their exoskeleton must at least be, like, tanked or belly. Oh boy. Oh yeah, these guys. The queens. Not today, Alexia. Ah! Eddie Valiant! Hey, mysterious stranger. Isn't the only other place that you can find the queen uh, inside one of the factories? I think so. Yeah, I think I remember that. There's some factory you go through, and there's a there's a queen ant at the at the end of it. Is that the one where it has the third part um, gang of powder gangers? Uh, it could be. I my memory is very vague. Mine too. I only because I haven't played this in a long while, but I still remember the basics. You remember a lot more than I do. Well, that's what happens when you play this game for, like, almost, like, your adult. Like, by the round the time it came out, yeah. This is Xbox, it's like, talking years ago, like 360. Oh, I'm sure you love the load times on that. <laughs> Actually, I think I did because of the fact that the radio would still play, even though it loaded. Oh. Yeah. What I didn't miss, though, was okay. the crashes. Every Bethesda game. Every Bethesda game on a PC. I also have been playing uh, Pokemon Unite as of late. Oh, oh yeah. And How I'm, are you liking that? And I'm having a lot of fun. Decapitation! Uh, Holy crap. Now, let me ask you. How pay to win do you think it actually is? What, Pokemon Unite? I'm hearing a lot of, uh, 
I'm hearing a lot of reports of that. It's not pay to win. It is pay to win. I don't know. No, it's not pay to win. You just play. You play. That's to what win. I thought. <laughs> I did not spend a cent on that game, and it's free to play. But what can you spend your money on? Uh, mainly to get coins so you can upgrade your items faster. Mm, okay. And buy accessories. They don't do anything. They just look cool. But you can obviously upgrade your items through gameplay, right? Yeah. Well, you play the game, you unlock the coins normally so you can upgrade your items then. And usually the, the dailies and stuff gives you a shit ton already. Gotcha. Also, if you have, if you're facing off against a mod champ, expect to lose. He's j he's like freaking Reinhardt on steroids. Well, I'll, uh, hopefully he's not naked. No, he's got that trademark speedo. No, I mean I, I heard I heard reports that there's a glitch with the, the with the mod champ that makes him appear naked. Oh, there's a bunch of glitches in that game. Thankfully, I've not <laughs> run into them. I mean, it was a mobile game. NCR so. Ranger stuff. I would wear Ooh. it, but Ooh. no. Unfortunately, it hates me. Assault carbines. Look what at all these. Look at all these guns. Look at all this stuff. Look at all this neat stuff. You, on the other hand, my friend, where is your inventory? There it is. Fine by me. Uh, give me that. You, my friend, I am going to give that. I guess he wears it. Oh, nice. Yeah, because faction now, armor apparently doesn't matter for them. Now, why don't you want to wear that? Because it's... Why am I not wearing that? Why are you not wearing that? Why do I care? In fact, that would actually be a better idea for Fine me, so me. I don't lose um, points for the NCR, if I recall. Yeah, I remember that uh, I, I wore this armor. You can this wear armor. that, then. Actually, you can wear the patrol yeah. armor instead. Yeah, I wore this armor until I got the Hellfire armor from the uh, Enclave. Uh, I'm probably not going to get that. Yeah, that's like in-game in stuff. Or I can wear this. No power armor training. Huh, you know what? I actually kind of like that. It matches the helmet pretty good. This is some weird cosplay you got going on here. This is like one of my Japanese anime. Let's see, I got an assault rifle that I'm probably never going to use. I got a shit ton of stuff I need to drop. Up. Actually, you know what? Hey, Boone, give me a hand with some of this stuff, all right? Fine by me. I'm sworn to carry your burdens. <laughs> God damn it. They have no weight gain, so... Where do you get all this junk from? What, what, is, what is going on here? I don't know why I'm carrying all this. I do not remember you picking up any of this crap. You'd be surprised what I pick up. Uh, you know what? I'm probably, you know what? Where is it? Uh, oh, there it is. We'll drop that. We'll just, let's mm -hmm. just drop this stuff. Oh, almost. There we go. Next room. Ruined books don't care about that. Oh, I miss the days when you can just drop items and they don't appear in a paper bag. Empty lockers. We are now well rested. Oh, no, that's right. It's the follower safe house that has the pump hatch and shotgun. Oh, okay. Normally, I don't use, like, guns and stuff, but if I was, like, you know, like, if my arm is being twisted, I always go for the pump action. I recall the single shot shotgun is actually pretty good if you have a high gun stat, because you reload it, like, instantly. And probably combined with the reload faster perk, you could be probably, like, you blink and it instantly <laughs> reloads. Mm -hmm. The animation displays at like 200 times speed. 
All right, we need to gather debts for the Garrets. We also need to recruit people for the Garrets, and we need to stop the drug addicts for the followers. And we also need to get the the Garrets to agree to giving supplies to the followers. And this all accomplices getting Freeside to like us and also getting the followers to like us so that way they give us the key to their safe house. You have chems, buddy? You're... you look pretty like shit. Why stop? I feel great. No worries. My guy will be here soon enough. Just wait. Uh, about that. If I had two caps to scrape together, I'd buy the materials to make my own. My damn hands won't stop shaking. This guy named Dixon. Something about him seems sketchy, but I can't stop now. Last time I stopped, I felt like I was gonna turn inside out. At this point, I'm mostly buying his stuff just so I don't feel sick. Speaking of which, do you have any spare caps? He's dead. What? I need a fix now! I wanna help you! Fine. If you really care so much, then give me some shots of Fixer to calm down these shakes. I'm gonna need at least ten shots to get me through the week. From there, the followers should be able to help. A combination of Fixer, Psycho, and Buff Out would do it in one shot, or be strong. I think you're right. I've been through worse. Just inspirational quotes. Fort, <laughs> see if the followers can watch over me while I recover. Cold turkey, this bitch. Inspirational quote. You're right. I feel better. <laughs> oh, I'm not even going to get the chance to get to him. <laughs> you hear that? I don't know what's going on in this, in the free side. You can definitely hear a lot more when you don't have the radio on. You can hear all the sink in the background. Mm -hmm. Hey. Hey. Are you today? Santiago is fabulous. Santiago, you owe the Garrett a lot of caps. Santiago does not owe anyone. Santiago, he's a freeside VIP. Oh, are you now? Santiago is dead if he doesn't cough up what he owes. Yes, sir, <laughs> Santiago does not know what he has done to offend, but he can explain everything. Stop speaking in the third person. I didn't think she was upset enough to have me killed. Here are the caps I owe. I do the Santiago act to get out of paying for services every once in a while. I didn't think it could possibly get me killed. So... Why do you speak in the third person, then? Does Santiago always do that, apparently? I don't know. I don't know what he was trying to imply. What is could he you have hired? Could you have hired him? No. Oh, 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 actually, yes, I think we could have, but I think uh, Mr. Garrett would have been upset. Uh, okay. I have a better suave talker in mind. Can't run from me. <laughs> Ugh. Died, died uh, next to the dumpster. Okay, you see a guy dressed up like this. Your idea is to lure him into an ambush. What were you thinking? What were they thinking? Come on, game designers. And then these people try to ambush me. What were they thinking? I'd rather shove my head up a Brahmin's asshole while I get plowed in the ass by a super mutant behemoth than play this game! Ass! <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> Alright, come down, angry video game. Obama. Not Obama! Machete! That was a pretty good movie. The Weed Whacker! Here's our second person in debt. This looks like the exact same place that you talked to the other guy. <laughs> hey, man. Can you spare a few caps? You're an ugly son of a bitch. You are one ugly motherfucker. Collecting money to pay the Garrets? Oh, yeah. I guess the Garrets set you after me. Look, I've got the caps right here. Just don't hurt me. Okay, here. That's everything I've got except the clothes on my back. I'm sorry about this. We can actually take his clothes, but I don't want to be too mean. I won't. Thanks for not, not only that, me. I don't I don't even want to see that. 
Well, unfortunately, we have to recruit a ghoul as a as a, as a uh, entertainment of the night. The quote on oh yeah yeah. We also need to get a sex robot. There, children, eat your fill. Wait, where did you? Oh, there you are. Uh, Still behind. Yeah, we'll hit that place last. Right now, we're gonna go get the sex robot because my science is high enough that we don't need anyone's help. This is just like that episode on Rick and Morty. Ugh. Can I say I never actually sat down to watch that show, and also I'm glad I have not yet? I don't know. You should probably at least take a look at it. It's, uh, it's definitely one of those shows that the fans have ruined. overblown. Yeah. Overblown, ruined, yeah. What do we got? Wonder Glue? No. That'd be good in uh, Fallout 76, but not so much here. Not really, yeah. Lots of adhesive in that game. Yep. Up. Yep. Up. A bakery? bakery. Wah, wah. Real Acme Realty. Oh, I'm glad the Acme Corporation is still in uh, the Fallout universe. Yep, and not only just that, Wiley Coyote is still getting his refunds from that place because his traps still suck. What the heck was that? Someone dropped something. Just walk into a building and then all of a sudden, loud noises. Rats. Rats. We're the rest. I love me. how I had maxed out my energy weapons almost. Yet here I am using a melee weapon. I mean, it doesn't require, it doesn't require ammo. That's true. All right, over there then. Ah, so close to a level up. Here I think we I go. Asked this, I think I, I, I asked this last. Oh wow. Aha. Nice. You're I'm saying? in. I asked this last time, I think, about are assault drones in the game? I think so. But okay. I think they're DLC. Oh. This part always lags. Fully integrated security technotronic officer active and reporting for duty. I'm calling you Fisto. Yes, sir. Fisto reporting for duty. Please assume the position. Oh God! Uh. No. <laughs> plus YouTube. <laughs> plus YouTube would get mad at me. I am programmed. Demonetized. For your like I Please make money off these anyway. The Sarcasm. Go for the Atomic Wrangler. Fisto will report to the Atomic Wrangler for further orders. Yes, sir. Ugh, sex bot 360. And if we had the Wild Wasteland perk, we would have been ambushed by a gang of grandmas. Uh, oh, I see. It's a Monty Python joke, I think. I still think that we sort of probably got into the console and, and activated it. Um, I could have figured out how to get that to work. Another reference I learned about was, um, is, um, when you're talking to Rex, you can go, what is it, Rex? Is some boy stuck in a well? <laughs> the only one I remember off the top of my head is that you can find a refrigerator out in the desert. Yes! With, like, with, with a door on it. That's, that's, <laughs> a, that's literally the only one I remember. I know another one, and it's a Star Wars reference. And, um, it's during where you have to pr protect the president. And when you're on the interco oh, yeah. intercom, the ranger would be like, what's going on? Is everything all right up there? And that's after you save the sniper from being killed and replaced by the Legion. And you can go, yeah, we're fine. We're all fine up here. How are you? 
You! Come on, man, I'm dying here. I dying here. I'm... Be like King Julian and move it, move it! Oh, Julie, I've really screwed things up. I'll head over to the fort and get some rest. This has gone on too long. And now, that should be a level up. Your words have inspired me. Damn it, no. Well, not yet. Alright. Our next recruit and also collecting of debt is down this way. Hey, you know this place well, way too well. I'm sorry? You know this place way too, way too good. I think it's mainly muscle memory. Yeah, I was going to say, I, I would get lost here completely. Oh, don't worry. When we do quests for the Brotherhood and uh, we have to replace their L air filtration units, that's going to be really annoying. Alright. Well, like, rem like re reminds me of the Metro in Fallout 3. Oh, before we meet the uh, the Brotherhood, we should probably remove our NCR armor because they'd probably attack us on sight. Oh yeah, they don't get along too well, do they? No, they do not. And then we'll put... No, I want lockpick. There we go. There we go. Let's go all the way hard. down. The what Infiltrator. With Infiltrator, if a lock is broken... Okay, you get a second chance. Not same thing with this, but with hacking. Uh, both of those are pretty useless because if you if you're just careful. Weapon strength requirements are now two points lower than normal. Mm. Maybe if I can't find anything else that jumps out at me. Not like you really use heavy weapons anyway. With a bet. Oh wait, no, I want that better criticals. Oh yeah, that's a. Uh... Plus, with this thing that already has two bonus critical effects on it. Yes. Oh hell yeah. This is going to be a broken item now. Yeah, it is. I gotta get... <laughs> I might, I'm thinking about getting Boone the anti-tank rifle. You mean anti-material rifle? Yeah, same thing, really. Good shot, Boone. I like to imagine with a name like that, the bullet just phases through matter. <laughs> No, it's like, no, like, you shoot it, and it's like the Thanos effect. It just, whatever it hits, just du turns to dust. It just fades away, yeah, <laughs> exactly. All right, recruit. Hello again. Uh, have we talked before? I've done a bit of everything around here. We Curier, have to hear a story butcher, real quick. Crier, escort, gun for hire. Some of which I'm not proud of, but I do my best to help around town when needed. Like an armed guard? Well, I suppose you could look at it that way, but I was packing a whole different kind of heat. No, escort just sounds better than man whore. Oh. Yep. I was damn good at my job, too. But after a while, I just felt like a piece of meat and had to quit. Sounds like retail. That's basically how you're treated. Ho ho ho! My father ran a butcher shop here in town. But business went downhill when another vendor started selling this strange meat at half our prices. All the pussy cats have been disappearing around Fleet Street. You're telling me. Not long after my father's shop went under and he passed away from the loss, people around town started experiencing shakes. No one gets shakes like that unless they're eating human flesh. But no one would believe me. The sick bastard gradually went insane and passed away. Wasn't long before someone moved into the guy's place and found half-buried human remains in the crawl space. I didn't bother saying "told you so." How do you know that? You know, if you you're wanted? if you're in that kind of business, wouldn't you try to get a meat locker or something? Or even yeah. an operating cooler? Hell, a fucking refrigerator if you could. I'm not surprised he knew that people get shakes when uh, you eat human human meat. Yeah, and according to the Japanese can cannibals, uh, people taste like tuna. Hmm. Weird. Exactly one of the reasons I got out of that job. Too many shifty characters looking to have someone else move their hot items. After a while, I made enough money to get a passport into Vegas. Back then, you could get approved for entry for a fraction of what it costs now. 
Well, I got a job working as a crier outside of the tops, advertising for the local talent performing at the casino. That didn't last long. Well, being a suave young guy, I chatted up the ladies from time to time. And there it is. And one of the manager's girls started mm. to take a liking to me. I never touched a woman, but the jealous prick decided it was my time to go. He framed me by saying I'd stolen from the casino. Sure enough, a few grand was missing from the casino vault. I have to assume the bastard stole the funds and figured I was a convenient fall guy. Could you imagine, like, someone trying to steal a thousand dollars worth in caps, just carrying a big bag of it, and you just hear it jingle jangle as they're trying to stealth? They go jingle jangle yeah, but jangle. What can you do? I was stripped of my I got a bag of, of caps that jingle jangle. I stole all this. There, I didn't have a lot of career options. As my I'm surprised he's not destroyed. dead. I know. Like, I'm surprised they didn't just like kill him right out. Into my lap. Seriously. No pun intended. All right. You need gun for when her? I quit the escort job. I had enough money to buy a pistol belt and some other gear. Bodyguards make a good, honest living. And I had the wits and physical build to handle most thugs. After saving a few tourists from trouble, I got a reputation for being a stand-up guy again. And after a decade, managed to save up enough to retire. Well, we need to break All you right. out of retirement. Yeah, I'm glad he's living his retirement out here next to a campfire. I'm retired, but life has been a bit dull without some kind of action. What's the job? Ah, I get you. So you think because of my past escort work, I'd be interested in that kind of thing. I got out of that work because it just made me feel empty inside. What makes you think I would ever go back to that degradation? It's gotta be better than a freaking campfire. You know uh, what? My 50 speeds right. will? <laughs> I looked at the whole thing from the wrong angle. I suppose I could be a loving muse to some. Yo, everything under your belt is a gift others. from God. Thanks for Use the insight. it! Tell Garrett I'd be happy to start at the Wrangler immediately. This should be a nice change of pace from retirement. I don't want to retire. I'm having too much fun. I'm asking you to reconsider. Hmm. Okay. And now you. Yeah. So sorry we had to pull him away from his re retirement Hello. on like a Lovely park bench. I know, right? In that case, I suppose you're here to collect. I apologize, but I simply do not have enough caps on me to cover the debt. If someone were to recover my caravan from that cave, I could easily pay in full. But who would bother with such a mess? I find it hard to believe you would run from a caravan without taking something. I'm short 90 caps or so, but I have a few cartons of cigarettes and some sensor modules I could put toward my debt. At this point, I'll have to return to California to start anew. I haven't got a cap to my name. Uh, can we... Oh, not... Oh. Well, not anymore. Nothing more to give. Leave me be. Return with 388 caps. Not a problem. Was it just me, or was her face, like, really blurry? It was weird. Also, you gave me sensor modules? How fucking dare you? Get these out of my face. Okay, fine. You can weigh me down. I know, right? I really appreciate 76, where it's like, you're over encumbered. That doesn't stop you from moving, it just decreases your AP. Yeah. That man's head is on fire. Good. <laughs> All is as it should be. All right, let's go get the ghoul, and then we can go report to the Garrets. Should we do the kings? We don't gotta do them right now. Oh, no, not right now, but perhaps oh. someday in the future. If we don't tackle the DLC first, of course. Which is mostly, and if when we do tackle the DLC, it's definitely going to be Lone, uh, Blue Mountain first. Uh, what song was that? That's the one with the science guys. Doctor Mobius. Oh yeah, okay. My favorite it's DLC. He can be found at Nick and I think that's probably my favorite, my favorite one too. That's a good one. Followed by Lonesome Road, then um, the Casino, and then the Grand Canyon one can go fuck off. 
Yeah, they dropped the ball on that canyon one. I don't know what they were thinking. Especially since it has such great story elements, if, especially if you're part of the Legion. Gotta give Legion people something to do. Howdy. Hmm. So who are you? I've been around a while. Currently working for the followers as a gun for hire. But it's getting rather dull. Aside from protecting them from the occasional thug looking to intercept supply shipments, there isn't much to do around here. The one researcher I liked who I could chat up about liquor got transferred. And the rest of the docks are pretty uptight about my kind of fun. I bet you've seen a lot. I've been around long enough to observe the patterns of human behavior. Physical and mental anguish are especially exciting to explore. Yeah, I'm Betsy's pretty old. Sounds like you're a bit of a dom, Beatrix. Hey, who doesn't enjoy a little pinch and squeal every once in a while? They already have that pig McCaffrey working for them. Do they need another guard? Uh, escort. Uh, I've escorted my share of idiot tourists around Freeside. Too much trouble for what it pays. No, uh, that way. I meant prostitute. I'm all boot knives and leather, friend. And a cool besides. What kind of weirdo wants what I've got? Uh, turns out there are people with that kind of fetish. I don't think we should talk about them, but... Weirdos into bullwhips and necrosis, huh? <sighs> Doesn't sound half bad. What am I thinking? I'm no whore. And I ain't about to hand my ass over to some penny ante hustler like he owns me. What about booze? Mm. What about you have a Damn good selection of hooch over at the Wrangler. If I get to choose my customers, if I get to be a little rough with them, if my cut is fair, and if I get that discount, that just might work. Tell the guests to stop by to work on terms. Goodbye. Yep. Uh. Oh yeah, she's asleep. Oh hey, look, they made it. Thank you. We never would have escaped without your help. Alright, so let's rest up until Julie is awake. Or you could just bother her in bed. Eh. Plus, this gives me free healing, so... Ah! ah! <laughs> I shared the same bed with someone. We must be in Europe. <laughs> so the nope, we're just in Caesar Vegas. Dead. <clears throat> Happy news, but I don't know that it'll make things safer. The rest of his goons may be even worse once they take power. Well, considering none of them has the same tactical, headstrong planning like Caesar, odds are they're going to last for a little bit longer, and then they'll just eventually just rip each other apart from the inside. Mm -hmm. Either that, or they'll invite the Goths inside, and then that will, that's going to ruin everything. Of course. I saw them. Thank you so much for helping them. This means a lot to the followers of the Apocalypse. You have our thanks. If you need some medical supplies, come see me. With Jacob working with us, we should be able to spare a stim or fixer once a day. Perfect. Sure. I would like a right away. You'll so that way I can just give it to you. Oh, oh okay. And that's not weird or anything. I know, right? Also, I, also, I like how you, you, you killed you the, the leader of the Legion and she's like, oh, uh, I don't know if this is even going to help anything. Like, not even, not even thank you. Not even thank you for taking out the largest villain organization in the Wasteland. I know, right? We are accepted by free yep. side. I sincerely hope the NC... Okay, she's done with us. So, let's go. Let's go Dude, I'm done. With... Let's go Good, collect... I'm done with her. Let's go collect our rewards from the Garrets. Not even thank you. Nope. She probably doesn't even know we did it. She probably heard that he's dead. She pro but the details of his death are probably hush hush. Oh, uh, fallout. But I can tell you right now, Mr. House definitely knows I did it. 
Oh, yeah. I mean, after we killed him. Oh, yeah. oh, Courier, I sent you there to go power up my robots, and then all of a sudden Caesar's dead. Do you really think I wouldn't Hungry, find out? Thirsty? Horny? The Atomic Wrangler... I mean, he contacted you right afterwards, right? Like, as soon as we got down into his, into his like, other vault, he's like, Oh, there you are. Good. Let's get started. Yeah. Hey. Hey, what up? Some gamblers came in saying they'd seen you enter the Lucky 38. I have to say, I'm impressed. I don't know of any other living person who's been in there. Yeah, see, they, they didn't even know I was in the Lucky 38. Wow. Here you go. I don't care how you handled those lumps of human refuse, but you got the job done. We need you to hunt down another person. That son of a bitch McCaffrey stole a ton of caps and ran off to Vegas. I guess the fact that we farmed out his usual work to you pissed him off. No one steals from the Garrett twins. If you can kill that bastard and bring back as much as you can, you'll be paid very well. You got yourself a deal. Good. Just stop on back when he's dead and you'll be rewarded handsomely. Bring his hat as proof of the kill. The kill. You must have some real pull with house to get inside. Now, the where is Mr. Garrett? What do you need him for? I need to report to him of the recruits. Oh, yeah. What the heck? <laughs> oh, well. Oh, here oh comes my a, God. Here comes another one. So this this guy's a space out of existence. Trust that door. We're hidden, so. Aha! Well, this is. I hope this is making my one heart. Ah, hold on. Keep moving. Aren't you mad that I'm in here? Yeah, I hope this isn't a problem. You cannot wait while trespassing. Yeah. Thankfully, they're not too mad at us. Yeah, at least they didn't start suiting you like I thought. <laughs> I kind of thought it would be kind of like a Skyrim where it was like, You're not supposed to be here. Oh, there you are. Oh, there he is. Hello. Hey, chum. Welcome back. Really now? Yeah, 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 yeah. We're gonna ally with you guys. Whatever. Uh, I found that sex spot you're looking for. You did? Ha, damn! I've been looking for one of those for years. So you're the fetish guy. I mean, Got I'm it. not into that kind of shit. <laughs> Thing is, Fisto's a heavy-duty piece of equipment built to last... You're right, you're right. Something like this. It's worth a little extra because it's gonna keep on satisfying you. <coughs> Those disgusting fetishists, I mean. Something wrong with someone if they gotta fuck a machine. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it is. It will? My god, imagine the possibilities. It didn't happen to come with an owner's manual, did it? Ah, forget it. Trial and error should do it. Something tells me that robot is going to go in the disinfected tank many times. Oh, boy. And who would that be? Here's old Ben. I've heard some stories of that old guy. I'm amazed he's still alive with how much he's been through. Hey, you and Kirby share the, the same stories thoughts. stories are true, he'll be a valuable commodity here at the Wrangler. I appreciate the find. You're welcome. Imagine that. What's his name and when's he start? Uh, her name is Beatrix. A she, huh? Well, I guess the customer who made that request can't get everything he wants. Hell, who knows? He might not even notice the difference. Uh, that should do it. Oh, could you have gotten a mail one? I might be able to put in a good one. Sorry? Could you have gotten a, a mail ghoul to do that? Uh, you know what? I'd actually have to look that up because I don't know. I wonder if you could. Because of uh, what he said. I want people to like me. All right. 
I can chat you up, but it's gonna cost you. I am a damn beacon of morality here. People should be lining up to shake my hand. Oh my God. This is stupid. Is <laughs> oh, these these dialogue choices. I've got it. I'll say you slew a nest of death claws living in the sewers. It was bloody work, but you waded through the pack like a man possessed. I'd have to be if Just I'm fighting death claws quick, at this point. I can only spin a whopper this big once. There's only so much people will believe before they see through the bullshit. Wow. And we are now idolized by Freeside. Have Freeside's. you seen the new security trap? Yeah, you just paid your way to get. Anyone who gets testy with those bots now. All right, now let's go report to Julie. Tell her that we have a secure location for trading deals and whatnot. Then we need to come back here, confirm the fact that we did it, and then the quest will be over. That's that that that's definitely crazy that you can just There's do all that to get like insta fame. <laughs> Remember, we're a goddamn beacon of morality. See, if this, if this was me playing, I would definitely be asking, okay, but is there a place that I can actually go and fight Death Claws in the sewer? Because I think that would have been pretty cool. Could you imagine? Like, I don't think there's actually Death Claws in the sewers, but there is a combat area. We've got stuff we're not even allowed to sell, people. Isn't there a town that has a bunch of Death Claws in it? Or was that three? I think that's three, but there is a mining outpost that oh, has right. death claws. The quarry area. Yeah, I think in Fallout 3, there is an entire town covered head to toes in death claws. Mm -hmm. It's like, it's all boarded up, yeah. And you know what, I think it even has sewers in it. Great to see you again. I think it does. That's phenomenal. Uh, the Garrets. They supply Freeside with drugs and liquor. From my point of view, they're just better organized pushers. Upgrading sure. Their... You know, you push drugs too, lady. Just because they heal people does not exclude the fact that they're drugs. Mm-hmm. With... And besides, with a surplus of supplies, you could use your captain influence. Why are you making me yell at you? You're denying this so people can die from illness. Think, you Julie! You should be sinking my hand. We wouldn't be paying anything for their supplies, just a portion of our food waste to make ethanol. We get food from nearby wasteland farmers in exchange for medical services, so we could put our caps back into helping Freeside. Tell the Garrets we'll keep their... You know, it's scary at the fact that I have to explain that to you. Billy Bob well, you know... John should not have to explain these kind of scientific things to you. Oh, you know, Dr. Mohawk over here, he just doesn't really understand this stuff. It's not actually Mohawks, it's just shards of metal she impales into her head because she thought it was hair. No, you know, that that would explain why he has trouble with this uh, material. Alright, let's go back to the Garrets and tell them that they got a deal. Hot, oh, so it's back and forth. I know, right? Come to Mick and Ralph's for And unfortunately, this is one of the downsides to Vegas sometimes. A lot of back and forth. In fact, I guess you can say that about Fallout in general. Because I am i don't know, I can't remember much about 3, but I remember the Mick biggest back and, and forth I had was uh, the Where Swamp the DLC. Cheaper, the table's more friendly, and the women are just like the Okay, food. yeah, I will say that the Swamp was, uh, I think that's the first one. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, the, yeah there was a lot of, like, coming back and forth between the mansion and the, and the town. Is it sad to say I can barely remember any of the DLC from 3, but when it comes oh to New God. Vegas, I can, like, pretty much read it as if I made it. I remember the swamp, the, the back, Philadelphia, and oh, that's right, the, the pit. Fuck the pit. And the alien, the alien DLC was pretty cool. That was, you can't, that was probably the best one. We'll get some supplies. Yeah, I was like, you can't knock that one. A show of good. Once our stills are upgraded. All right, he's just saying that. Blah blah blah. There we go. Now, actually, I think we need to tell Julia, and then she'll be like, "Oh, cool." Jesus Christ. Just fast travel there. I can't. It's not a place you can fast travel. No. Head on down to the atomic. Eh, why? I don't know. And for some reason, we decided to speak like monsters. 
This game is over 100 hours long because you're just gonna be going back and forth talking to people. So much back and forth. What the hell? I can't believe. Where is that from? <laughs> uh, Resident Evil. Oh. Barry. What is this? Is this the Chris's drugs? <laughs> is this Chris Great the dude's drugs? Again. Uh, yes. There we go. I'm honestly pleasantly surprised they would help us out. Because for some no, reason you can't get the Crimson Caravan because this game hates you. Like at all. <laughs> and you have nothing I can give. But I will take those stim packs from you. Alright, we're done for now. Ooh, that's a lot of talking. Yes, now let's go finish off the Garrett's quest by going to kill McCaffrey. And with that... I assume, pretty... I assume you probably know exactly where he is. Oh yeah, he's th he's just right outside Gamora. Okay, well now you can definitely fast travel there. Yes, I can. I can at least travel to the gate. Where's the gate? There it is. Uh, there. I'd probably save the loading screen or two. I can tell you right now, at level 20, I know exactly what perk I'm picking up. What's that? It's the Explorer! That is probably the best perk. I love it. Because guess what? There is not an Explorer perk in Fallout 76. What?! Nope, you have to discover everything yourself. I looked it up. There is no Explorer perk in 76. Plus, I love the Explorer perk because it helps me find things that I obviously would have forgotten. Yeah, exactly. As somebody who goes to that game, exploring everything, I wish there was an Explorer perk, but there's not. Um, what? What? Uh, you know, floating grass. It's it's Vegas. Dude, the psycho is wearing <laughs> off and I am on a high... <laughs> <laughs> Dude, the weed, it's like flying, man. The tumbleweeds, man, they're everywhere. Huh, so the Garrett sent you to track me down. What a joke. Uh, let's just do this. I'd rather not waste the ammo, kid, but if you insist, draw. It's high noon, motherfucker. I'm hit. <laughs> I'm hit, dead. <laughs> I didn't even kill him. I just, like, slashed his chest up to no tomorrow. Oh, yes. I need your hat. Uh, I'll take the duster. Nah, you can keep your gun. And of course, you know, nobody cares. He just murdered somebody in cold blood. Maybe in maybe that grass was a drug hallucination, because now it's gone! <laughs> Thankfully, the Garrets are close by, so we can actually just walk there. And I'm thinking maybe after this, we can finally head up to the Boomers in the next episode because we did a lot today. Thank you for visiting New Vegas. Wow, I completely forgot we had to go over there. Yep, we are on the factions now. And I'm thinking after we hit the factions, we start doing the DLC. I remember, uh... I remember watching the speedrun. And, like, you know, when they had to go, uh help quote unquote all the uh, all the factions yeah especially just flying through the map discovering them and then flying back huh. it's like yep we definitely helped them new vegas speedruns are crazy uh when it comes to the brotherhood i might actually put on a different outfit before we talk to them because i kind of want the power armor training Because if I'm not going to get the Enclave armor, I might as well be able to wear any power armor. Mm -hmm. But there is an outfit I really do want, and it's in Hello. Lonesome Road. Ooh, Lonesome Road. Yep, like close Here's to the Here's one end. on the house for taking down Caesar. Serves him right for treating women like livestock. Hey, someone actually thanked me for killing Caesar. Thank you. Oh, wow. I got a Somebody appreciates <laughs> it, my work. Yeah, and I got a drink out of it, too. Yes. Where's his hat? Up my butt with a coconut. This is great news. <laughs> Someone screws with the Garrett twins and gets away with it. 
I hooray, know murder! Hey, well, in Fallout, and yeah, definitely reward, hooray. <laughs> here's 150 caps. I trust there were also some valuables on McCaffrey. Also, we would like to set you up with a room. You can hey, the all right. Bitchin'. Free. It was McCaffrey's. Now that he's dead, we're happy to let you use it. Thanks for helping us. Not a problem. Goodbye. Bye. Not enough for a level up. Uh, do, 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 what's my weight gain? You know what? How about we sell? I got 20 star caps. It looks like the Legion. In well, we should probably look up how much we need to uh to do the quest. I hope that doesn't end bad. Welcome back, friend. What can I get you? So this is how Ethan talks to Lady Demitrescu, huh? Ha! <laughs> I'm not gonna use that. Fucking take it. Give me a shout if you need. You know what? Before we actually end this episode, let's hit up the Sunset Sarsaparilla area and see exactly what we need. Because I know the we, quest is there. I just never we, did it. Have we discovered it yet? Um, Where is it? It would be. It's around the airport. And the airport is Camp McCarran, which is... Here it is. No, we didn't discover it yet. Oh, let's see where it is. Uh, it's relatively close to Camp McCarran. It's pretty much down the road. And across a bridge. Right down the road. Right down the road. Right down the... Bye-bye! Yeah, this Look way. up where it is. It's over here. I know oh, where it you is. Got it? Okay. <clears throat> yeah, see, look. It's right over there. Yeah. Okay. I know the, uh, the the Nuka bottling plant in uh, 76. That's a good place. Also, I think this area is pretty good to find caps. Hopefully, we can find some star caps. Yeah, see, look. Right down the road across the bridge. Looking good, Billy oh. Bob. The helmet's a bit, bi a bit big on him. <laughs> That's a little bit ridiculous. Yeah, but if I put on like pla like a plasma weapon or something, it would look better. But the thing is, this weapon is so good, I don't want to change it yet. I know. I mean, having better criticals with like already two hundred percent critical damage. What exactly is the stats on this thing again? Where is it? Here it is. Forty-four damage, sixty-three damage per second, bonus critical damage, and bonus critical chance. Combined with our better criticals perk, this weapon is amazing. Yeah, I don't know what the exact number is for bonus critical damage, but I'm sure it's pretty good. Oh, and not just that, but we also have 8 luck, which helps in critical hits and damage. Wow. And I think the higher our luck is, the more easy the mystery man shows up. I think he's only shown up once, right? Yeah, he's shown up once so far. Yeah. Killing the queen. Eddie Valiant has to go save Roger, of course. Killer queen. Sad Jojo reference. <laughs> and before you ask, yes, it is a Jojo's reference. <laughs> We have to talk to There him. he is. Festus! Howdy, partner! Welcome to the headquarters of the Sunset Sarsaparilla. Oh, boy. This guy. Man, Woody, the Toy Story Festus universe has not been kind to you, huh? If you and old Festus are old this is the Woody that sold out for corporate sponsorship. Otherwise, so this is what happened if he didn't escape the furnace in the third point. movie. Or, if you have more important things to do than talk to old Festus, say goodbye. Pleased to meet you. New in town, Parker? Well, let old Festus give you the lay of the land. If you're here to redeem your sunset sarsaparilla stars, dump them into the slot in the barrel below and I'll count them up. If you don't know what sunset sarsaparilla stars are and think old Festus is just shooting his mouth off, say star info. And yeah, I don't think you have to listen to that because he tells a really long story about it. 
Horseshoes? It's just like a rock, paper, scissors game. Oh. Uh. <laughs> silly old advisory. That's a good one. Do that one. Do it one more time. Could you repeat it? While Sunset Sunset <laughs> is perfectly safe, a recent independent study... So I guess Billy Bob has a speech impediment. No, he... It, the joke is that, uh, that they don't want to talk about it. Oh. <laughs> because of the legal reasons. Oh, right. And death. This sounds like an American uh, uh, medicine commercial. All this from drinking Sunset Sarsaparilla? Mm -hmm. Halitosis. I like that one. That's that's a good one. So I, I guess you can probably just deposit your. Uh... Why wouldn't it tell me if I can pickpocket him? I don't think you can. I can't. Maybe you can. I don't know. Oh no. No, he's just. Yeah, see, so he's just he's just telling you about it. No, I thought this is where he gave. This is how he tells me about the contest, isn't it? Oh, it could be. Okay. Not too much. Why are you telling me this, though? The legend of the star. All right, like, that you, was a question. Like, could you imagine like an employee talking to him about it? It's like, why are you telling me? I work here. Well, an employee wouldn't go up to him. This is for like the kids that visit. Uh. It looks like you've got a fair number of stars in your saddlebags. You're still a few cards short of a hand, though. How many do I need? Mm. All right, I'm gonna take, have to look take, this up. No, take take your quest first. Maybe maybe the quest says. Oh, I thought that was a cap. No. Check your check check the quest. Return to Festus with enough sunset sesperla star caps to earn a prize. Ah, I thought it would say like something out of thirty or whatever. All right, you know what? Let's just gather stuff here real quick, and then we'll call it an episode since we're already here. If the game doesn't want to crash, which I think it did. Uh, I can see them spinning. Yeah, well, uh, yeah. I guess the game decided to end it for us. So, next time when we play New Vegas, thankfully the autosave is a thing, we'll do the Sunset Sarsaparilla stuff. I'll also be well informed of when exactly how much we need. Hopefully mm -hmm. I don't get spoiled on the price because I really want to know what it is myself. Anyways, it, thank you all for watching. It's, it's great. Thank you all for watching. Bye. Bye. Ooh. And remember, kids, drink more Sunset Sarsaparilla. Yeehaw!